Good morning, guys. Um, we're going to see if the third time's a charm here. Um, I'm not one to edit my stuff, so like I try to do it in one run. Um, sometimes it's easier than others. So, so far this morning, I had sirens go by. Um, my wife came out to see what was going on. Um, so this is take three. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm going to do an episode, or actually going to do two episodes, on um, influencers. And I, initially I was going to do a top five list. Um, I decided um, that there's more than five, and so I've got a top eight list. And so without further ado, I'm going to kind of get into that. I'm going to do my first um, four. I did rank them, um, but I'm going to do my first four. Um, so here we go. Uh, at number eight, uh, Jeff McMahon. Um, Jeff's channel, if you have not had a chance to look at it or watch it, is extremely unique to YouTube. He, um, he he has a, um, a humor and a approach to his channel that is just very entertaining and really gets you thinking um, about the hobby and about life in general, really. Um, at number seven, uh, War Chart Psy, um, Bill Sanders. Bill's channel I've been watching for quite a while. Very interesting perspective. A lot of higher end, or higher end stuff on that, so I have tuned in and out over time with that. Um, but really a true hobbyist uh, enthusiast. Um, the thing I like about him is he's got a, a Seiko 5 um, and a Moser in his collection, and I think a Beauvais. So he's got some higher end stuff, but then he can still appreciate a Seiko 5. So that, that I think that tells you about the scope um, and breadth. Um, Next channel, as I'm sh I know like you all are familiar with, is Bruce Williams. Um, I don't think you can be an enthusiast in this hobby personally and not have been impacted by Bruce's channel. Um, for him, it's, it's two components. He, he is just an extremely positive guy that I think does a lot of good stuff for this hobby. Um, he's got great macro shots. Um, and he's got great taste in watches. I mean, no more can be said. I've, uh, I've engaged him a couple times. He's very responsive. You can text, email him type of things, and he does get back to you. Um, runs a great channel. And like I said, I know you guys are probably familiar with him. Um, and at number five is um, a channel that's probably a little less known, is um, Not So Obvious Watches. Um, Pete runs that channel. Um, I got on to his channel very early on and it started off as just like more watch news and that kind of stuff and his channel's really developed and changed too as well. Very thoughtful approach. Um, uh, I believe he's, he's a military guy, like um, engineer sort of I think, don't hold me to that, but he, um, he approaches things in a very logical fashion and really is introspective about a lot of things. Um, and his channel has really taken a really awesome direction. Um, I really recommend watching him too as well. Um, so that's it for now. Um, I've got four more that I'll probably do this weekend. Um, beautiful day here in Tennessee. Um, I hope you guys have a good weekend. Uh, we'll be talking soon. And as always, um, stay positive, make friends, and enjoy the journey. Thanks, guys.